Hello there, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking play. So this is a new series in Pro Evolution Soccer 2020. Um, I haven't bought the game for a couple of years, um, but I thought I'd go back to it this year, see what it's like. I haven't played any football games other than Football Manager. Um, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, to stick around if you're gonna watch this series. Um, we're gonna do a Master League. Um, we're gonna do it with Huddersfield Town uh, because they're my team, they're, they're my first love. Um, I think it'd be an interesting one in the championship. Uh, you've got to, you know, try and get promoted back into the Premier League and um, and rebuild the club, not just the squad as well. So we're going to start a new one. Um, we're going to do it with the club team lineup because I actually quite think it's 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 a decent squad, um, and we'll have a look through that. Um, I haven't I haven't played Master League yet. I've done a little bit of my club to get used to the game a little bit. Um, as I say, I haven't had it for a couple of years. Um, so if there's anything interesting pops up in the in the setup, um, I will let you know. Otherwise, we'll see you once it's all up and running. So here we are. We're walking down. We have set everything up. I haven't changed anything in the um, in the game settings. So the transfer windows, the currency, the um, high level of transfers, com transfers, haven't altered any of that. Um, so you can see this is me meeting the uh, the staff at Huddersfield Town. They call Huddersfield BW, which is for blue and white, um, and the badge. Still says West Yorkshire Town, so I don't really know what's going on there. That kind of looks like Aaron Moy. Um, I don't know if it is. He's not at the club, so I, in real life, so I don't know if he is or not. Um, so yeah, let's. Um, I suppose we might as well skip all this. Do we need to? Do we need to see all this? Not sure. I haven't seen it before, so we could have a look at it. I guess. Um, just on the training pitch now, having a look at what's going on. Um, okay. Interesting. That's all right. Nice little touch. I, looks like the kind of trying to go down to um down in a rivals sort of route here looking quite similar we're having board meetings setting out the season objectives um so let's just see okay i'd like to discuss this season's objectives uh this club is done languishing in the lower division we've only just gone back down there i want you to do whatever it takes to get us into the english league this season sound good to you so obviously they want promotion to the premier league um this is me playing this game right um I'm going to say we can finish around the middle and see what they say there. Um, just aim for the 10th position or higher. Let's not worry about promotion. Let's see what they say to that. Are they happy with that? If I press a button, will it skip through too much? I don't know. Okay, it didn't do anything when I pressed the button anyway. Um, so they've seemed to have agreed to that. It seems a rather modest objective. But you suppose you have your reasons let's aim for that then okay I, I mean I, i'd like to get promoted but it's me playing the game <laughs> so um the coach team is behind you whatever direction you think is best i'm guessing that's really not a good option that i've chosen <laughs> we could already be hamstrung there right are we into the master league screen now no we're on meet the press now wow Come on then. Can we? Can we? No, we can't. Okay, we can't skip through each little bit. Congratulations on becoming manager. What's your plan for the team? Are you going to introduce your preferred system straight away, or stick with what the team is used to? Um, well, the team is used to losing. Um, we need to strike a good balance. I don't like that noise. What's that noise? It's a great honour to be given such an opportunity and I'd like to thank everyone for making this happen. My philosophy is that balance must be maintained. I want to keep what works and put my own stamp on what doesn't. Generic manager talk. Um, it's a bit, you know, I, I'm, I've only just come into the club. Give me, give me a chance. Let me find out what's going on. Uh, come on, next. What style of football do you want to play this season? Right, well, I, I want to play short passing. I want to attack. Um, want to be um, I want to put on a show I want to put on a show you can't blame people for, I don't like that noise when you choose I don't know if it's coming through on the mic well enough I don't like it though uh, you can't blame people for wanting to see results but I'm of the opinion that putting on a good show is just as important as winning if you're going to win make sure you win in style that's the type of football the fans want to see and that's what I aim to show them okay come on I wish it would let you press one of the buttons to um to get past I, I, I it says skip down at the bottom but i assume that means it skips the whole thing so i, I don't really want to do that because as i say i've not set up a master league yet so okay um i'm not going to go because it's going to give me all the little tutorial screens now because this is the first time i've set one up so i'm not going to make you sit through all that 
So I'll get through that and I'll see you in a minute. Right, so we're just um, we're close to the first match of the season. We don't didn't have any friendlies for whatever reason. Um, we've got some offers in by the look of it. Um, Jonathan Hogg, um, we've had an, um, an offer from Sheffield RB. Um, not sure who that is. Would it be the Sheffield United, I guess? Um, we've also got an offer in from um, some, t I'm guessing that's Celta Vigo from Matthias Jorgensen. Um, and Danny Williams as well from Burnley. Um, possibly, I mean, he's saying don't sell the other, don't sell Hogg and Jorgensen. Danny Williams is one that they may possibly sell. Um, if we just have a quick look at the squad before we go into negotiations. So, all the players that left in real life are still at the club. Um, Jonas Lersel, Jorgensen, Tommy Smith, Chris Lerva, Phil Billing, Aaron Moy. Um, they all left in the summer. So, um, trying to look on the bench. Danny Williams went as well. Dupatra went. So, for some reason, they haven't done any sort of squad update. So, <laughs> no idea. Let's have a look at these negotiations then. And let's see who we've got. So, Aaron Moy, they've offered 14.7... Uh, sorry, Matthias Jorgensen. They've offered 14.7 million. Um, he's valued at 13.1. Um, I don't really want to let him go because... I've got three really good centre backs, and I think that we're going to we're going to turn just turn that one down. Um, Johnny Hogg, I would be tempted to let go, but I'm going to see if they will accept a bit more. Um, you see at the top there, we've got a transfer budget of just under thirty million. Um, I wonder if they give us like three and a half, three point four six five. Let's see, because if I can get it somewhere around his value, I'd be I'd be reasonably happy with that. Danny Williams, um, Burnley have offered 5.3, his value at 6.6. You see, we've got lots of, um, now he has got a release fee of 5.7, so I will go in and maybe try and get it up to that. So I can't take it any higher than that because that's his, that's his transfer, uh, that's his release clause. So, if they want him, they're going to have to pay the release clause. I can't do anything about it if they offer the release clause. So we'll 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 allow it to do that, and um, yeah, we'll see what happens there. So let's forward time. I guess those offers are going to come in after the match because we've got a game here against Middlesbrough. Um, so let's see. I'm guessing I'm guessing the offers wouldn't have come in. No, here we go. So apologies. Looks like another press conference before the game. Um, I might skip through one of these eventually um, and see if it skips the whole thing or just through the questions. Um, your first season and first match as manager just around the corner. Um, how are you feeling going into your first match? We're ready for them. I certainly want to walk away from the game with a win. We now have the ability to beat Middlesbrough and we're ready to take them on. Um, obviously the big bugbear with uh, Pez is the um, is the licensing, isn't it? The, the fact that you don't have all the... Um, all the real players and all the real names. Um, okay, just one question. Um, yeah, let's go to the next match. I was just having a look, see what else was in that drop down menu then. Um, so we're in the dressing room. This is quite good. I quite like this. Uh, Middlesbrough are a tough side, but that's no reason to fear them. The supports will be given they're all out there today. So let's do the same. Um, is all this new to this version? I didn't buy last year's game. The last one I had was 2018, and I don't remember it being anything like this. Um, let me know in the comments if um, if this is a, a new, totally new for 2020. Also, let me know if you've been playing the game and how how it stacks up to previous versions. Is it better? Is it not as good? Um, what do you like about it? What don't you? Jump in the comments. Let's have a discussion. Let's see what it's all about. Um, so we are now loading the game up. Um, I've already done everything with the tactics that I wanted to do at the minute. So yeah, let's get to kick off. So here we go, Huddersfield versus Middlesbrough at the Bergstadion. Yeah, that's our new home ground. Um, don't need to watch the players all coming out and everything. Let's get straight to it because we've had quite a build up to the game, quite a lot of um, press conferences and things like that. So Aaron Moy on the ball out to Elias Kachunga. Got the overlap here from Tommy Smith. First time cross. 
Oh, cleared away from Colin Brandt. Aaron Moy will pick it up. Across to Phil Billing. Chris Lerber now. He's going to go out to the left. Ball comes in. Oh, got in front of the keeper there, Colin Brandt. Keeper came out well, met it well. Played down the line. Good ball in from Diacarbi. And Colin Grant just nicked in there. Launched forward looking for Rudiger Gestead, who's brilliant in the air, but we've won it. Grant to Billing. Diacarbi on the ball again. Cuts inside. Plays into the box. It wasn't aiming for him. I was, I was aiming for Phil Billing. Oh well, that went a bit wrong. That one goes. Good early possession from us though, and it's Aaron Moy. He's going to hit one, and oh, it's not good. The keeper let it go though, and we didn't follow it in. So I've been playing, uh, like I said, I've been playing my club, and of course you've got. Um, it is deadlocked. You've got the alone player, so we've got Messi and Raheem Sterling and Ronaldinho. So dro <laughs> dropping down to these guys is um, <laughs> it's a bit of a culture shock. It has to be said. Played through, get to it. Oh, and it's cleared over the top. That was a chance. Played forward here. Played the one-two, didn't he? In the end, a nice ball through to him. Hit it on the volley, but he got it all wrong. Philip Billing. Diacarbi looks to sprint past his man. He can't do it. And it's played forward. Oh, and they could be in here. Schindler Schindler's done well. Aaron Moy out to Kachunga, and that's half time, and it has not been a good half at all. Apparently, we've had three shots with two on target. They've had two, but haven't put one on target yet. Let's see what the second half brings. Right, here we go, we've got the ball. Play forward, look for Diacarbi. He's in. He goes for goal! He scores! Adama Diacarbi gets us off the mark for the season. Nice little finesse shot. And it's 1 0 to Huddersfield Town. And a brilliant finish. It was a nice little counter attack. We stole the ball in the middle. We bring it forward here, and it's Carl and Grant that plays it through. And Diacarbi with a little finesse across the keeper. And it's 1 0. And that is my first goal in Master League 2020. It is a brilliant ball through from Carl and Grant. And it's a very good first touch across the defender. And finished brilliantly into the opposite side. Get in, boys. And Gestead bringing it forward. Downing. Go on, get into him. Brilliant. Jurgensen. Zanka, as he's known to his friends. Played forward to Carlin Grant. He's looked to get it in behind the full back for Kachunga and he's managed it. Kachunga wins the corner. We will just do six yard box, I think. Let's get them in there a little bit better. Possibly a bit too much on that. Oh, hit it! Oh, 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 way over from Jonathan Hogg. Needs to say he doesn't score many as it just drops to him on the edge of the box. Never got himself set. Lovely ball into midfield. Aaron Moy out to Tommy Smith. Plays it forward ahead of Kachunga. Should have played it to feet there. I don't know why I did a through ball there. Why I did a through ball there. Colin Brandt stolen it. Hits one. And we're going to get a corner there, are we? Mm, I don't think that's... Is that going to find a corner? We're just going to show a replay. Grant picking that up well, hitting the shot. No, I don't think that did take a deflection. I think that's going to be a goal kick. Schindler. Chris Schindler. Chris Lerber. The two Chris's combining. Now Diacarbi. Grant making the run. Grant gives it back to Diacarbi. Looks to the edge of the box for Aaron Moy. Keep it going. 
heavy challenge on Aaron Moy. He's played forward. In it goes. Behind Grant. Can he make something of it? No. He's going to get booked again. Every foul we do is a booking. That was never a foul. It was never a yellow card anyway. I mean, it might be a bit too much pressure, but that is not that is not a yellow card. That is never yellow card worthy. Played forward, keeping the ball well now. Diacabe plays it forward, and Carlin Grant is in. He's gone for the early shot. Oh, we have players running in. Into the last minute, then. Come on. George Friend, two minutes to go. Tommy Smith with a brilliant tackle. And it's our throw as well. Down the line he goes. Played forward. Carlin Grant. Got Diacabi in space. He gets to it. Gives it back to Grant. Plays it inside the fullback for Kachunga. He's going to whip the ball across. What is wrong with the crossing on this game? <laughs> Who cares? We've got the win. First win of the season in our first match in the league. A clean sheet. We will take that all day long. Absolutely brilliant. We will take that all day long. Let's just have a quick look at the stats. Um, and you can see we deserved it. They had slightly more of the ball. We did more with it. We deserve that. So the league table doesn't matter at this point, does it? Of course, after one game. Um, Ten clubs so far have, um, have won their first game of the season so yeah really good start I'm really positive with that um, we've got negotiations coming in let's just have a quick look at these before uh, before we sign off um, league opener chapter two okay what's this all about the opening match winner sent the press that followed the team around into a frenzy let's not lose this momentum and get a win that's the goal we're not going to let up now okay yeah fine I'm happy with that let's get out of there um, so who have we got offers for Danny Williams right so they so Burnley have paid for him and okay Danny Williams team role has changed okay let's we'll worry about that so it looks as though we could be selling two players here um, Jonathan Hogg for three and a half million do I let him go? Can we sort by position? Oh, come on, yeah, there we go. So if we sell Johnny Hogg, we've got Junior Bakuna that can play. Um, Danny Williams, of course, could be um, could be on his way. So I'm going to accept the terms, and then we'll try and we'll try and bring someone in in the next video. Um, I think that's the um, the best thing we can do. So that puts us up to 33 million. I reckon we could probably get someone better. And we'll um, we'll accept the terms for Danny Williams as well. So that gives us 39 million to spend, and quite a hefty transfer budget as well. So I think what we'll do in the next for the next video for the next game is that we will try and um, and maybe get someone in. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this, guys. Let me know in the comments um, if you're playing this, if you're playing FIFA, or if you don't play football games at all. Let me know if you enjoyed it, and I will see you again very soon. Um, there'll be links in the description, as always, to things that are going on on the channel, so make sure you check that out. Um, hit subscribe and like as well, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you later.